Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Getting a few questions on how to set up your Testo 557. And um, in a toolbox, you're gonna see that there's a couple of different things. There's actually data sharing tools, and then there's just uh, connected tools. And so, or Bluetooth tools at the top. We do not wanna use the data sharing tools. This was sort of app to app. This is sort of old school Testo way when we talk to their application. You'll notice this is app to app under each one of those things. So you can just close that up completely. And what we would do is we turn the 557 on. I have this guy on right here. And then I'm gonna press and hold the up and down arrow. And you gotta hold it for a few seconds until you see the Bluetooth symbol appear in the display up here. And that Bluetooth symbol is flashing. So now what we're gonna do is go to plus add at the bottom. And we're gonna click Testo Smart Probes. And you'll see the Testo 557 pop up. So just hit the save button. And then you can hit back again. And when you go into Probe Manager now, you'll see the Testo 557 manifold at the top. Now it's not gonna have any readings next to it because it's just uh, pulling in all the, the um, pressures and things like that. Uh, so we don't really have one reading, it's got up to four readings on it. Now the next thing you wanna do, if, if you wanna use wireless probes, you see I got these line temperatures. I mark mine like SLT, DLT. So this is 849, it's my suction line temperature. So I'm just go down here, 849, map the suction line. Uh, my 794 is my uh, liquid line temperature, or make that liquid line. And then I have an outdoor air temperature I want to map. So now all my probes are mapped. If I go back to my home screen now, you'll see that I have, you know, indication of suction line and liquid line temperature. I have no pressure in the manifold, so that's why I'm having zeros. And I got the target. So that's all you got to do to get it set up. Now, if you have Testo pressure probes and you put those in with the, um, with the manifold, your pressure probes will override your manifold. So you don't wanna have the two installed. If you need to delete a probe, just go back to the toolbox. And all you would do in this case here is we'd have to power the probe off that you don't want. So it's gonna go off. You'll see it'll go to a red, just, just swipe it and delete it. And it'll be off your, your system. If we wanna reinstall it, just power it back on, go back, hit plus add, test of smart probes. You'll see the 905. Click on it, back button, probe manager, and as soon as it comes in, now we can map it back to outdoor air. And that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot for watching.